Hey everybody, Matt Kleskowski here, and I uh, wanted to talk to you about about something that I do in my workflow that I've been doing for a couple of years, and I get I never really thought to talk about it, and it comes on the heels of of watching uh, or, or reading a blog post by Scott Kelby on his sports photography workflow, where he talked about how uh, to use Bridge or Lightroom when you're when you're in a pinch, you got 15 minutes, and you got to upload and look at and pick and rate and edit your photos. That it's just not it's not a viable solution because it takes too long inside of those programs to do all that. Where a lot of sports photographers use Photo Mechanic. Well, I've realized over the years a lot of other photographers use Photo Mechanic too. Uh, just I, I want to show you something here. I'm gonna I'm gonna click on the the zoom icon. So I'm gonna press the right arrow key. See. See how fast it goes through the photos, okay? If you've used Lightroom, you'll kind of know that things really generally don't happen that fast. It's because Lightroom's building a full resolution preview. If you want to look at your photos uh, large on screen like that, it's building a full res a resolution preview. And you know, I'm, I'm shooting with a 36 megapixel camera now. It, it takes a long time, sometimes five to 10 seconds between photos to render that thumbnail. And sometimes that's fine, Sometimes it just takes too long. And here, here's here's the whole the whole disclaimer to this whole thing. If you watch this video and you think, can't Lightroom just do everything he just talked about? Forget it. It's not what I'm talking about is not for you. Okay. There's a lot of wedding and portrait photographers in addition to sports photographers out there, landscape photographers that I know that use what I'm I'm showing you here because of the speed for it. Okay. For me it's instant gratification. All right, but I, I want to show you. I want to show you what I do, and what I found to work, and how I'm able to incorporate it. Because I'm still going to use Lightroom for just about everything. But how I'm able to incorporate what I would do here. All right. So first thing, I would look at the photo full screen. If I like it, just hit Control Five. All right. Labels it as a five star photo. I know in Lightroom, I typically I typically use flags in Lightroom. There's no good correlation between flags and photo mechanic in Lightroom. So I use the star rating system. All right, so five stars. Hit the right arrow key, five stars. Hit the right arrow key, five stars. Don't like it, go to the next one. Get to one that you like, five stars. All right, and you can close the, you don't even have to be in the larger view. You can very easily just be in a smaller view and just click that little five star uh, icon right there below the thumbnail. All right, so guys, honestly, that's it. That's all I do in Photo Mechanic. It's instant gratification. It's, I realized you know, when Scott was talking about it, it's it's a job. It's I've got to get through my photos extremely quickly and get them uploaded to the wire service. But what I've realized for me is that whether I'm, whether it's a paying gig or not, sometimes I still really want to get through my photos quickly. There's other times where I get back from a shoot, I can put my card in, go have lunch, go have breakfast, go to meet, whatever it happens to be, and let the upload happen, and, and, and I don't have to go through as quickly. But there are times where I just want to get through extremely quickly it is that instant gratification thing, and that's where this comes in. Okay, now sports photographers, anybody else that wants to use metadata captioning, anything you do, you know, photo mechanic rocks at what it can do. Um, it, it's amazing. You should go back to Scott's blog if you haven't read it. Um, just do a search for uh, sports photography workflow because there's some amazing things that photo mechanic can do with metadata and captions and whatnot, and, and have things be automatic for you. But for me, I don't need that. All I wanted was a very quick way because what I'm you have to understand what I'm doing here. All right. Typically I'm gonna go through and, and once I find this photo that I like, I'm gonna I'm gonna go through it and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna you know find the photo and I'm gonna do a quick edit on the photo. Just again it's that instant gratification thing. Maybe somebody's standing right there and I want to look through these very quickly. I can edit the photo very quickly right there. So that's what this was about. Later on, I'm still gonna bring this all into Lightroom. Okay, and that's and and the way to do that very easily and still keep what you did here would be and th this is where you can diverge. It's it's personal preference. You could choose to come down here. You can see how you see how you just turn these little stars off, and I could see just my five star photos. Okay, A little shortcut for you. Instead of turning each one of them off, Option or Alt click on five, and it hides all the other ones. So I'm just looking at my five star photos, and I could just take these, select them, drag them into Lightroom. Okay, that's all I'd have to do. And Lightroom will keep the five star photos. The other alternative, which is what I do, 
because I am going to sit down and look through this with 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 a little bit more of a scrutinizing eye later on. So I'll look through to try to find some new ones. Also to get the rejects and all that because I'm not going to do that in this phase. Remember, this was this was I needed something right now. I want I was excited to look at my photos right now or somebody standing right here. So I'm not going to go through and pick rejects here. So what I do, I select all Command or Control A, and I just drag these over my Lightroom icon in the dock and just hit import. And Lightroom will keep all the five stars. So that way my work is already done when I get into Lightroom, eventually when I get into Lightroom. My work is already done, I don't have to worry about it. I can just filter through my five star photos and I got it right there, I can create my collections. You could easily command or control A to select all and even flag them as a pick if that's what you're, you're used to using is pick flags, okay? And then I create my collections and I would do I would do my whole Lightroom workflow that I normally do at this point. Okay, so in <laughs> kind of to finish up, and what I said before, if you watch this video and you thought, can't Lightroom do all that? You're absolutely right. It it positively can do all that, and it's probably not for you. If you watched this video and you watched me go full screen with this and do that. And you're like, yes, I, I wait five to 10 seconds between photos too. And sometimes I need to go faster than that. Then, then it might be something you want to check out because you can still use photo mechanic to do that. And then still use Lightroom to do everything else. The, the collections, the editing, the sorting, the rejects, all that stuff, uh, processing, sharing, printing slideshows, whatever it happens to be, you could still use Lightroom for all that stuff. Okay. And, and, and if you fall into the category where you're having to do more things with metadata and captioning and everything, Photo Mechanic's definitely a great tool to look at. But either way, uh, if you're a NAP member and you're thinking about it, uh, we'd go to your NAP member website, go to the discounts tab, and uh, Photo Mechanic has a, has a discount on there too, so you can save some money if you're thinking of buying it. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you got any questions, comments, anything like that, feel free to leave them here. My name is Matt Klaskowski, and I will talk to you again very, very soon.